Hi, I'm David and I'm building Zencap, a tool to make financial modeling and analysis more efficient. Previously, I was a software developer and product manager at Yipit, and before that I spent several years working in finance. And while in finance, uh, just like most junior people in finance, my primary responsibility was building financial models. Um, and what you learn after you build a number of financial models is that uh, the work that goes into them is pretty much all the same. It's all repeated work. You're copying and pasting similar formulas. You're copying. You're repeating uh, the same analysis over and over again. Uh, but because of the fact that you're building all these models in Excel, you have to repeat all of the work that you do because Excel files really can't talk to each other, right? So if you have a piece of logic or a piece of analysis in one file, the only way you can port that over is to copy and paste it. And you have to copy and paste in every single cell that you wanted to show up, and it becomes this very, very manual process. And so, um, for instance, a, a very simple m model will take three to six hours to build on average, and a really detailed model could take a day or two or three days. And you know, these models are really at the core of what uh, financial firms, be they hedge funds, private equity firms, or investment banks, it's, these models are at the core of what they do and how they drive their decision making for any given investment opportunity. And they're very time consuming to build. Um, and also because everything is repeated and because the logic is, is repeated every time, that makes them very error prone as well. Um, so Zencap tries to look at this problem from a software engineering perspective and say, what can we take about the fundamental principles of software engineering, which is you know testability, the dry principle, do not repeat yourself. Um, and, a, and this idea of modularity, having separation between the layers of the data store, the analysis, and the template, and kind of thinking through the MVC model of software development. How can we bring that to bear on uh, financial modeling to make that whole space more efficient? And that's what we're working on.